तो मेरा मानना है कि जिस तरह के हालात बन रहे हैं खुद प्राइम मिनिस्टर त्रुदो के ऊपर अगर आप कल रात को उनके पार्लियामेंट की प्रोसीडिंग्स देखें तो उन्हीं के लीडर ऑफ अपोजिशन ने बहुत बुरी तरह से प्राइम मिनिस्टर त्रुदो को घेरा है उनके शब्दों में दैट योर अनसब्सटैंशिएटेड आपने जो अनसब्सटैंशिएट इल्जाम लगाए हैं भारत के ऊपर उन्होंने आपने बिना किसी सबूत के अपने इंटेलिजेंस ऑफिसर्स के गलत बयानी को लेके एशिया के सबसे बड़ी ताकत और हमारे एक बहुत बड़े साथी मुल्क को आपने इस अपनी मैं समझता हूं ना समझी के चलते हुए आपने उनको नाराज किया है और सारी की सारी पार्लियामेंट ने उनका साथ दिया और पूरी तरह से वहां पे प्राइम मिनिस्टर की विद इन द पार्लियामेंट बड़ी निखेधी वहां पे हुई है तो मैं समझता हूं बड़ा जल्दी प्राइम मिनिस्टर थ्रू दो अपनी गलती समझेंगे कि कोई भी जुम्मेवार जो देश है का नेता जो है उस देश का वो अपने राजनीतिक स्वार्थ को अपने डोमेस्टिक पोलिटिकल इंटरेस्ट को ध्यान में रख के देश की फॉरन पॉलिसी को गिरवी नहीं रख सकता और ये एक बहुत बड़ा आई थिंक उन्होंने डिप्लोमेटिक और कनाडा के नेशनल इंटरेस्ट के साथ भी बहुत बड़ा धोखा उन्होंने किया है there is a shift a tectonic shift going on in the geopolitical sphere. this is what happened in g20 everybody was expecting that there will not be any concerns on the issue of ukraine and russia but i think prime minister modi and our diplomats have achieved the almost impossible so that itself they feel a bit rattled and i think trudeau is just a mere pawn and i think it also suits him given his immediate uh, uh, contingencies that he has to depend he is he's in a minority government and he is depending on the parties uh, which are very much vocal about separatism and they are supporting terrorist openly so he is playing to their tune but at the cost of uh, foreign policy of his own country i think canadian will realize what blunder he has done and i think he also for his own sake would realize his mistake and i hope for the sake of canada as well as for india also because we have been very strong we have had this uh, issues about safety concerns all along but we we want a diplomatic relation a strong positive relationship with every uh, our message in g20 was what vasudev kutumbakam we believe in a world world family thing so we will do everything on our part but nobody can tell india how to take care of our sovereignty we are very capable we do not believe in extra judicious kind of killing we do it openly when we have to do it we went into Bal balakot and i think that's a living example so i i think they should take note of but uh, this was i think in the pipeline whenever a new power arises on this geopolitical sphere all sort of allegations are made to undercut the popularity and the credibility of a nation and one factor which i think everybody is missing in this big game i think we, we it's not just five eyes there's a sixth one also which is even more uh, prominently looking at and maybe manipulating the situation if you look at canada it is not just the indian diaspora which is uh, maybe they are one or two percent there also the largest community there immigrant community in canada which one is it it is chinese and they have such a financial clout our people are maybe still working at the lower counter level they are the one who are calling the financial shots in in canada or even in america so they they are somewhere because they want to settle scores about india joining hands with america america is also playing its own old games they are trying to do this double standard which i think our foreign minister jay shankar ji has rightly said that they, they there is a lot of people who still have these double standards they have not given up those but this is all part of diplomacy this is all when you grow up when you go into the big league you have to be prepared and i think we are very well confident to take care of our national interest our national interests are for us paramount our sovereignty is paramount 
Yes, we can take care of our sovereignty also. If he is, Mr. Trudeau is concerned about his sovereignty, we are, and we are not blaming. We can take care of our sovereignty ourselves. Do you believe that Canada is a safe heaven for gangsters or criminals? Because many of them are there. It is there. It is definitely being run. All these people, look why Kanishka happened. I don't want to go into his family lineage. I don't want to bring Mr. Trudeau's father. He was there when Mrs. Indira Gandhi had spoken to him about these people, Panjwards and all, who were responsible for bombing of Kanishka. He didn't act, and that resulted in about more than 300 people who lost their life because of that. Nothing happened of that. The kind of seriousness now he is putting up that I'm taking these charges very seriously. I wish his father had also taken those um, concerns of India at that time. He could have said, I think this blood of these 300 plus people lies on the hand of the uh, Canadian government. Their folly, their mistake, their oversight of these things, taking them lightly. But I think they are nurturing these terrorists at their own peril. They should learn lessons from Pakistan. They are the people who will bite the hand that feeds them. Today they are asking for separate states in India. Tomorrow they will be asking a separate state within Canada. They would say you have plenty of land and you have so, such a less uh, population, so might as well have a uh, separate state there also. I think they are playing with fire, but I hope for the sake of both the countries that this issue is resolved amicably and our relations are back on even keel sooner than later.